Yo, NLP Legends, hope all is good. I think we are ready to roll. And if I, yeah, we're good to go. All right, so we finally got set up. We've got the, you know, we've got the studio set up now, which is super, super cool because in this time of need, and this is a massive, massive time of need around the world, people need more education on themselves than ever. And the reason why that is, is because with all the lockdowns going on, not only just around Australia, but around the freaking world, people are literally forced to deal with their own shit. People are literally forced to um, dive into their own mind, whether they like it or not. All right. So whether they like it or not, this is happening. And you, my friend, are in a very, very, very powerful position to be able to help someone influence the way that they think, feel, and act. And I don't know about you, but that is very, 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 very important. Because this is going to be a time in many people's lives where they have uh, a lot of uncertainty. They've got a lot of challenges, a lot of problems, a lot of issues, a lot of things that they may not know how to deal with or what to do with. So I just wanted to run you through super quickly. Uh, you know, step one, the purpose on this intention is to revisit the logical levels of therapy for you guys that are in master prac. And if you guys that aren't in master prac yet, then you need to know this also because it will be an absolute game changer. So do me a favor, if you're watching this right now, give me a comment to let me know that you can hear me all right, that obviously the audio is all good. And then we're going to get uh, pretty much stuck straight in. All right. I just want to keep it very, very short and sweet. So uh, what do we got here? Haha, <laughs> we did this at our retreat. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. All right, so Mick, this is super, super important, right? So if you guys that don't know this, you're about to know this. Once again, super simple. Let's just jump straight into it. So the number one thing, we've got to understand that uh, all the levels that we go through right now make up your model of the world. They make up your level of reality. So the very first thing is your environment. You can see here on the screen, the environment is the external factors and considerations and conditions of what's going on. So what do you think, what do you think that people's environment is like right now? Chaotic, uncertain, fearful, uh, you know, all these sorts of things that people are not necessarily dealing with or forced to deal with on a day-to-day -day day basis. So this is super important because we need to understand that within the environment is going to come many challenges, many uh, points of difference, many different ways of doing things. And this is where people are going to come undone. This is where people are going to let their environment influence what it is that they do. And we've already seen this within how we move, what it is we do for work, where it is that we do things. Uh, like it's crazy. There's never really been a time that you and I have lived in that has been like this moment right now. But you have many, 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 many swords and many, many tools to cut through the BS and help people on a very profound level. So the environment is very, very important for you to understand, not only personally, but for you to then educate and influence other people on what they can do. Many people right now, and I've been talking to people freaking all day, every day for the last couple of weeks about what's going on now, but many people are trying to influence and change shit that they can't change and can't influence. That is going to result in pain, suffering, and resistance. Don't do that. Surrender to what it is that you can control and what it is that you can influence, and then just do that, okay? Uh, the very next level is going to be the behavior. This is where it sort of gets a little bit dirty, right? Because people's behavior is going to change when their environment changes, isn't it? And this is a massive yes. So people's performance, their actions, and their reactions. Once again, uh, I know even for myself personally, yesterday I tried to work from home and it was just... It was just chaotic. It, it, it's never worked really that great in the past because, uh, you know, the kids, April, and then when I'm there, it's sort of like you're working, but you're not working. And obviously in these times, you still got to, you know, you still got to do something. You've got to bring some form of income in to not only help yourself survive, but you've, you've still got to do shit. You can't just shut down everything and not do anything, okay? Although sometimes people are forced to do that, right? But be very mindful of your behavior. Um, like I said, this, there's so much change that has happened in the last couple of weeks, especially for here in Australia. There's been so much change that's happened here in the last couple of weeks. You've got to do the best you can with what you've got. Do the best you can with what you've got because you can't do more than that, 
All right, you can't do more than that, but you can do less than that. So make sure that you're doing the best you can with what you've got. Be aware of your behavior. Be aware of what it is that you're doing. And, you know, fucking hold on. Hold on for the ride. That's that's pretty much, you know, that's the best advice that I got at the moment. Because why? We're all in this change together. We're all in this uncertainty together. The very next thing is going to be your capabilities. This is where you come in to play on a huge, huge, huge scale. Because... Your capabilities are things like your knowledge, your skills, and your competencies. What is it that you can do? What is it that you can do? What is it that you can share with the world? What is it that you can package in a certain way that people can reward you financially and they can get the services, they can get the education, they can get the knowledge that is so-called needed in order for you to do some really great things. Uh, now that I've got this studio set up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you sort of behind the scenes of how you can package your knowledge in order to get rewarded financially and how you can dramatically help someone else out. And you don't even have to be near them. All you need is literally a computer and everything is on there. You can make it a little bit more fancy if you want, but I'll show you the absolute basics and it would be super, 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 super relevant for you right now. So your capabilities, think about the NLP, think about the timeline therapy, think about the hypnosis, think about all the skills that you have, health and fitness. It might be, uh, you know, cooking meals or it could be whatever it is. You've got those skills, you've got those capabilities. You need to utilize them. Number four is going to be your beliefs, your beliefs and your values. Once again, this is a deep structure, a deeper structure of yourself as a person as an individual you think about your beliefs and values when they get changed everything really just changes within your life so if you imagine this right think about people's beliefs and think about their values right now what do you think people are valuing more than ever things like certainty things like comfort things like stability things like safety and this might be very very different than what their values were three weeks ago a month ago two days ago because their values might have been like growth, prosperity, abundance, uh, you know, achievement, whatever it might be, learning, education, and all that has changed. All that has changed. So you really need to keep yourself in check with your own values, all right? Yesterday, I thought to myself, shit, sure, you know, my behavior has changed. Why is that? Because my values have changed. This is very, very important. If you can understand this, a cataclysm, a catastrophe, any sort of pain, a, any sort of uh, so-called negative event or positive event for that notion is going to dramatically change someone's values. You change someone's values, you change their whole fucking life. It's crazy. The next one is going to be the, their identity. Who am I? All right, who am I? Think about the people that have been working for decades, you know, years, months, weeks, days, whatever it might be in a job that they currently had and that was their identity. Hey, my name's John and I'm a fucking plumber. Hey, my name's John and I'm a, you know, chef. Hey, my name's Mary and I'm a whatever it might be. Well, now, now they're not going to fulfill. Now they're not going to work to be able to fulfill that identity. So guess what? There's going to be a lot of resistance. There's going to be a lot of, um, you know, negative emotion come up because they're like, fuck, who am I? What do I do? There's so much uncertainty, blah, 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 blah. So what can you do? Well, you can get on, you can do a video, something just like this. You can get on and share your wisdom and your knowledge. You can open up your hypno book, open up your NLP book, open up your master prep book, go back through your notes, uh, review a book, whatever it might be. Something just that simple could be the very thing that dramatically changes someone's way of thinking. Okay, so your identity is very important. And then number six, this is really where it's all at. It's like, what's your purpose or intention? What's the purpose or intention of what it is that you're doing right now? Is it just survival and just safety for yourself? Is it protection of your family? Is it to prosper? Is it to uh, seek the opportunities that are in the world right now? Is it to add value to other people? Is it to support yourself, your family, and other people? What's the purpose of or intention. This is absolutely a game changer because this will change the way that you do pretty much everything that you do within your day. My purpose or intention right now is to really support others in this time with knowledge, with wisdom, and with tools and strategies that they can use to change the way that they think, feel, and act. And you, my friend, have got many Many, many, many of the tools and the strategies that I have. 
you need to adapt. Please listen to me right now. There's three people on here live, but there's going to be more people that watch this later on. Please listen to me right now. You need to adapt to online. You need to adapt to talking to cameras. You need to adapt to technology. You need to adapt to the distribution of your knowledge and your wisdom. Do yourself a favor, set up some form of like little studio where you've got your internet, you've got your phone, and I mean, shit, that's all you need. You need the internet and your phone. That'll be a really great start. Or then you can start getting fancy. Get it on your computer. You can get a little bit more software like this and, you know, run your PowerPoints and blah, 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 all this sort of stuff. And I will do more of that stuff. If you guys are super keen and you like the idea of me running you through how to do something like this, then comment below, send me some love, and and uh, I will do it. I've got, you know, most of today free. I'm going to start bringing different stuff like this too. And, uh, you know, I really hope that this helps you out. So let's recap this for you. What is it that you can do for yourself personally? Go back through this and go through each and every single level and just get alignment. Get alignment through each and every single level. What's my environment like? Okay, cool. Well, if this is my environment and this is a game that I've got to play, how can I do the things that I do? What can I do in order to play the best possible game with the environment that I have? Number two, my behaviors. What behaviors do I have that are serving me? What behaviors do I have that are no longer useful? And what behaviors do I need to adopt and adapt? Number three is going to be your skills. Your skills. What skills do you have? NLP, talent therapy, hypnosis, all these sorts of things. Um, you're, always, you're, you're honestly like you're a fucking uh, a library full of wisdom. So get it out there, not only for yourself, but also for others as well. Number four, really check on your beliefs and your values. Things have changed. Your beliefs and your values need to adapt. That's all I'm going to say about that because that's a whole session within inside itself. And then check on your identity. Make sure your identity is what is it that you think, believe, and hold true to yourself. And then go out and actualize that. And then number six, what's the purpose or intention? Start sharing that with other people and it will truly truly help you out so there you go i hope this helps out like i said send me some love send some uh, comments on this and let's keep very active within this group because i can tell you right now that this is only just beginning there's only just beginning there's going to be thousands hundreds of thousands fucking millions of people out there seeking help and advice and you my friend are one of those uh advice givers you are a game changer you're a fucking miracle maker so go out and do it. This is forcing everyone to use their tools, use their skills, and get shit done. I hope this really helped out, and if you have any questions, then you know where I am. Please, please, please reach out, and I shall talk to you next time. See you then.